big game coming up on Sunday. A lot of guys vying for a place in the trip down under. You're expecting a good performance from the squad. Yeah, without a doubt. And I think by you know the, the atmosphere that they've created today, I think it's uh, it's evident that they're keen to do well as well. You know, there's no secret. There's going to be some Wigan and Saints players picked for the for the tour. There's going to be some Leeds and Huddersfield players picked for the tour. Uh, but there's a lot of places still left available, and uh, these players are they give, give themselves a great opportunity by the, by being in this squad initially. And they get another chance on Sunday to, to prove they should be uh, on that play next Friday. All right, Tony, obviously a big game coming up at the weekend. How, how much are you looking forward to getting out in the pitch again? Oh, mate, really looking forward to it. Like I said, I haven't played for no, four weeks, so <laughs> just dying to get out there, have a crack, and hopefully get picked for the Four Nations. Well, there's a big game coming up at the weekend, and how important is it for the England lads to put in a good performance? I think it's really part really. We had a lot of lads have had four weeks training out together. And, you know, probably a lot of hard work going in there and everyone's looking forward to this game on Sunday. And obviously there's a lot of guys here who will be pushing for a place on that, uh, that trip down under. Are you expecting a good, solid performance by everybody in the squad? Yeah, every, everybody's worked real hard and, you know, looking forward to this game. And I think if we all work, we all work together like we have done in training, it's going to be a great performance on the day. And a, a very special honour for yourself to be able to lead the guys out as well. Yeah, it's going to be a big honour for me and I, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, obviously it's, it's a game that's being played in very tragic circumstances. How important is it for uh, everybody in the, the rugby community as a, as a wider community to do what they can to help the Purdom family? Yeah, I think it's going to be an emotional, emotional day when, we, when everyone goes up there on Sunday. But like I say, once across cross that whitewash, it's going to be a, a great game and a great spectacle. And you know, for, for a memory of the Purdom family, it's going, to be, it's going to be great to play in this game. Yeah, you know, um, what happened was a real tragedy. Uh, so for you know, us to go up and... You know, putting a real good performance, and even Cumbria as well. You know, to to really highlight the memory of you know what happened and the occasion will be, uh, be really good. And obviously, the game is being played in quite tragic circumstances. Mm. But it's a, it's it's good for the game as a, as a whole to have that game in Cumbria in memory of Gary Purdom. Do you think? Yeah, without a doubt, I think Cumbria is a hotbed. I think there's um, you know everyone's got so much sympathy for what's happened up there, particularly for the Purdom family. And, you know, when we we had the opportunity to go and try and do something good up there, we, we jumped at the opportunity to do that. So, it's um, it's important for England in terms of our preparations, but I think it's probably overshadowed by the fact that um, as a group of rugby league people, we need to go up there and do something uh, right for the people of Cumbria. And how important do you think it is for the fans to show out in force to support both Cumbria and England on the day? Yeah, I think it's really important. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's about you know, going up there and showcasing some skills and the Cumbrian boys getting to play against an England side and, and the fans have been able to go out there and watch. You know, I've been up there a lot of times with amateur teams and, and professional teams and, and you always get a great welcome, a fantastic welcome and uh, we just want as many people to get there as we can. And obviously yourself, uh, coming from Harlequins, it's, it's sort of a very emotional game for yourself uh, what with uh, Gary's brother Rob being on the Harlequins side. You'll be looking forward to the game on, on an emotional level as well? Yeah, definitely. Look, we all know what happened up there and it, would, it were a tragic thing, you know. So, no, I just, I'm sure Rob would be ripping in, so I'm just I'm looking forward to it, really looking forward to it. And I've, I've spoke to Rob and he's dying to get out there, so it'll be a good match. You're going to be playing in Cumbria, where you're from. How, how special does that feel for you to get the chance to run out there, maybe in the England kit? Yeah, you know, it's going to be like my first appearance for England anyway, so that's a special occasion. But to do it in like my home county, obviously, makes it even better. And you know, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Right, ben, obviously it's a big game coming up at the weekend, England against Cumbria. You come into the sort of system a wee bit late, the other guys had a few days training beforehand. How have you found your adjustment so far? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, do you know, uh, we finished with Warrington a bit later than everybody else and unfortunately we didn't quite do what we wanted to do, but uh, you know, Steve might give us a couple of days off, a week off to relax, get rid of a few bumps and bruises and enjoy up this week. And, you know, the, I think the boys have made it easy this week. Uh, training's been simple, you know, the call's I, I know the calls from, from before, but uh, everybody's got together and we've, got, we've rallied round and it's been a good week so far. And how's the mood in camp at the minute? Is everybody feeling confident ahead of the game? Yeah, you know, everybody's buzzing. You know, there's, a, there's some players who've come in and this is their first, their first appearance for England. And you know, I mean, I hope that they take every opportunity they get and uh, they're all, everybody's just looking forward to a, a a great, a great game what's going to be down in Cumbria as you mentioned the Cumbrian guys are going to be very up, up for it have a lot of spirit it's going to be a good contest and a good test for the guys that are pushing for a place in the uh, the squad down under yeah definitely they've got some good players up there so and I'm sure their amateur, amateur clubs are good up there too so they'll be throwing a lot at us so I'm really looking forward to it you know I'm sure 
they'll be keen to get into us, so as much as we're going to get into them. So. And on a personal level, you'll be looking to cement a place maybe on that trip down under. How much, how much, how important is it for you to put in a good performance personally on the day? Yeah, it's it's massive for all of us. You know, we all want to be on that plane, and everyone wants to go out to Australia and prove your best against the best in the world. So we'll all be flat out, you know. So really looking forward to it, but. And all your family are going to be there in force, Ben? Yeah, I think my uh, my <coughs> mum's going to be up there and her sisters are going to go watch, so it's a good occasion. And are they going to be rooting for England or Cumbria, do you think? <laughs> um, I think we'll, yeah, they'll be a bit in between, I guess. Um, obviously, they'll look out for both of us, but it'll be, uh, I think they'll be more, more England, I'd say.